okay, the paper needs to soak for at least 10 minutes. Um, and I have the paper marked here with an X on the back and the print side is clean. Um, I do this while I cut the paper. Uh, with, with time you get to learn the difference between the back and the front. The back has a, a machined look to it because it sits on a screen and the front is a little more random. Uh, anyway, insert the paper. You don't just drop it in. You gotta dip it in with the leading edge and feed it in to the water. It doesn't matter so much with the first sheet that you do, but it matters with the next ones. The idea is with every subsequent sheet you put in, it goes underneath the previous one. And that's done because um, then when you're printing, you know that the top sheet, easiest one to access, has been in for the longest, so that's the one you want to get. They have to be in at least 10 minutes, preferably a little more. Um, make sure water fully uh, uh, penetrates all the fibers of the paper. Okay, so I have everything I need here uh, to print the plate. Here's some phone book pages. I have the plate. I have two squeegees. Um, I'll show you why I need two in a little, in a little bit. I have a, a putty knife. I have ink, tack reducer, and some plate oil. Some double stick tape and some tarlatan. All right, let's deal with the tarlatan later since that's gonna be a little bit of a mess. Uh, I'm gonna put the plate to the side. Take a little tack reducer. So I'm just making like a palette of all the things I need. A little tack reducer, a little bit of plate oil, barely any. If if you guys are using the safe wash inks, you have to use the safe wash oil and not this stuff that I used. And I'm only going to make a couple proofs today, so the amount of ink I need is very little, maybe the size of a large pea or uh, a single jelly bean. I've got ink all over my hands already, so. With this much ink, I don't need a lot of uh, tack reducer. You try and eyeball it, maybe 10% of the volume um, of the ink total, like 10% tack reducer, maybe even less. And I just smoosh that in there. And oil, I barely need any, I'm just touching the oil. And I'm only going to use this side of the knife, not this side. So this side only. And the thing I'm doing is I'm just going to smash all this stuff together. And then scrape it up. So I'm smashing it down and then scraping it up. Smash it down, scrape it up. And it starts to spread out so I can turn the knife over and pick up all the ink and then drop that pile back on the plate. So I'm just smashing all this stuff together, really flattening out the uh, knife. And then if I go hor uh, vertical with the knife and press hard and I scrape, I pick up more. Then I can go a little more horizontal and smash the ink again. So you have to do this for longer than I'm going to demonstrate. I'm just trying to move the demonstration along fast, okay? So you have to do this until everything is thoroughly mixed. If you 
pick up a good bead of ink and tap on the, the glass, it should be a little runny or just starting to run. It shouldn't be too drippy. So that's good. I just know this is good ink, so I'm going to stop now. Um, I'm going to move the palette knife over here. I'm going to set up my squeegees right here. And these things always go back in the same spot, so you're only making a mess in one spot at a time. I have a drop of oil there. I'm going to use this phone book page to soak it up. I'm going to deal with the tarlatan because I know this is has some fresh ink on it. What I'm looking for is a clean spot right here, okay? So that's going to be my wiping surface. I'm going to find another clean spot and fold that in on top of it. Find another sort of clean spot as my third layer. Fold that on top of it and another clean spot. Fold it on top. And then that's ultimately what I'm going to wipe with. So I have to take my hands and fold everything else into the middle. I got messy doing that, but I have a clean tarlatan um, wiping spot. So I make that ball nice and tight by keep folding into the middle. You make a nice tight ball of tarlatan and you hold it tight and what I do is this part of the hand is actually really really hard really strong so I just tend to flatten out the ball of tarlatan like that some people don't like that so what you can do is just on the table flatten it out now you've got this nice wiping surface that's clean, smooth, doesn't have any tears in it, doesn't have any dried ink to scratch your, your plate. These tears will um, they'll either scratch the plate or they'll go down and pick up too much ink out of the recesses that you don't want to remove. Um, and the dry ink will definitely scratch your plate. Okay, so I'm going to put that um, right here. And then the last step For the last step for setting up for these acrylic plates is to put down a little bit of double stick tape. And that's going to help the plate not move as you're uh, inking. 